Okay, can we tell them? No. No, <laughs> come on. They want to know. No, they don't. Yes, they do. You yeah. want to know. You don't no, you want to know. They want to know. Okay. They said yes. You they, know, we can tell them. They said they're vaguely curious, whatever. Just tell us. And well, I mean, you, you, you can tell them the the grand, the, the macro view, but you can't tell them what it is. What? What are you even talking about? You can't tell them the brand. Oh. You can tell them we're good. Okay. We're, we have put a hold on a on an RV. We've done it. It's so scary and it's so exciting. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome to 54 Nights and yes, yes, yes. We have finally, I don't know how many years, how many years have we been talking? <laughs> it was before COVID. We we were going to buy ourselves a new motorhome. Right. It was prior to COVID. Wow. And then COVID hit and you know, I mean, okay, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> so and then, you know, other things happened along the way that kept delaying us, kept delaying us. And honestly, this is probably, it, 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 it was probably for the best as far as timing. We did put the deposit down because this is a road trip. We're not buying local. We got to go to Atlanta, Georgia, 900 miles away to pick up. To pick up something that's actually five miles away from our house. <laughs> but a better color and a much, much, much better, better price. price. We will, we'll, we'll talk more when the when light is in our favor yeah or maybe maybe it's not in our favor <laughs> maybe you prefer this <laughs> so I guess we should really kind of time frame this a little bit last summer we were sorry I've got allergies my eyeballs are like the, yeah. um, Last summer, we looked at a couple of coaches side by side, compared them. We did, we've done a couple of videos. Um, I know one at least has been published at this point. Um, that that's a whole different story. But anyway, um, and then we really was it prior to Christmas because I. I mean, we really wanted to get a motorhome, a new motorhome, before I retired. No. So, it was, actually I said before Christmas, it was, it was football season when we were discussing um, wanting to buy a motorhome and we were a couple of weeks away from buying a motorhome and, you know, life happens. That's a cute trailer. Look at all the windows and doors and stuff. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We're, we're pulling into a Cracker Barrel and there's a little camper parked here. Life happens and we ended up not pulling the trigger like we wanted to. But I mean that's us too. We are very slow on doing big Especially things. Especially large purchases mm -hmm. like this one. I mean sometimes this big TV slows us down. That, yeah. <laughs> so, so and then we were pushing close to Christmas and really thinking, you know, maybe we'll get a little early Christmas present. And we still ended up not doing it for various reasons. Yeah, we were thinking we need to do this before retirement. Yeah. She's been talking to... Cindy. Her name is Cindy. Yeah, been talking to Cindy out in Atlanta since January, at least. Today is February 24th. So she's been talking to Cindy since early January, maybe she, even prior to January. This patient person checks in with me every so often yep. and just says, hey, where you at? Yeah. You still interested? We had an RV show. Your coach didn't sell. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> um, very, very patient salesman. Um, of course, it's a big, I imagine it's probably a big paycheck for her if she sells it. But very patient. And Terry's and I think we touched on it on a video about how our local dealership had the same coach, different color scheme, and they weren't going to budge off their price. And they were 
thirty something thousand dollars more. They were asking thirty something thousand more for the same RV, just different color. And honestly, I hated the color. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, we were we were talking about how we could make it work because yeah. it just was yeah. um, non-matching and it's just crazy. So. Then Terry finds this one in, in, you know, in Atlanta and talking to Cindy and going back and forth and we're going back and forth with the local dealership and they're, they're just like, I, we, we would be losing money. Yeah, whatever. You know, anyway, we did finally make a decision. Okay. We are going to get this one in Atlanta. I retired mid January. So I had to get a few things buttoned up. Um, it takes him longer to put his pants on now is what he's saying. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> so we had, to, we had to take care of a couple of things. Um, Cindy kind of twisted our arm this, this week. Uh, this is Friday. So Monday she commenced to twisting our arms and we just okay. kind of gave up you know, you know what we just been kind of whatever let's sure why not yeah you know? it was like no we should we should wait we should wait but yeah. like and, i said that's what we do we yeah. wait <laughs> and then at that point some people are settlers we're waiters <laughs> <laughs> check please yeah. so a week from right now we're gonna go pick no. up our new no. home six days from oh right yeah no a week from yesterday yeah next friday we're going to go pick up our motor home and it, i'm going to keep it in this video i think this morning we're at cracker barrel in gainesville texas because it is the 24th of february cracker barrel <laughs> which means it's the spring dallas rv show happening in the winter but it's a spring show we're going to go check it out we always do. It's what we do. That's what we do. And it's going to feel really weird yes. because the yeah. day before we found out we yeah. are owners of a new RV. So I might show you a little bit of footage from the show <laughs> and then you'll get to see the goings on of us getting ready to swap motorhomes. That sounds scary. The RV show was about what was expected not a whole lot there anymore it's they, not the show it used to be it's not but i would say compared to last year they had more class a's um uh, maybe compared to last fall yeah okay yeah. yeah yeah maybe um they did have maybe it's just because they had the one that we bought <laughs> they did have that the one. model the motorhome that we are picking up in Atlanta, they had that same floor plan, and oh, and I sold theirs yeah. for them. For real, uh, there was a a nice couple looking at it while we were we were in in it looking at okay, if we do this or that, we buy this for this, and yeah. you know, well, getting that, organized. Well, that color match, how yeah. how big is this? Yeah, um, they were in there shopping, and the salesman. I don't know what it is about the salesman at this <laughs> RV Dallas, at this Dallas RV show, but he didn't even know if this coach was gas or diesel. He had to go check. Okay, it's one thing for you and I yeah. to step into a coach and not know. Right. I mean, in the Class A world, in 2024, you pretty much... You have a choice of the Ford chassis or the two diesel chassis, Spartan and Freightliner. So if you don't see a Ford emblem on it, guess what? It's a diesel. Mm -hmm. But a salesman not knowing ah that that one just anyway. And it's his product. He didn't he he knew nothing about the coach. Uh, Terry sat there when the salesman wasn't in there. Terry Terry sat there and explained all the gadgets and all the goodies. Oh, I just couldn't help it. I just said, we're, yeah. this is this is what we just bought. And I had to show them all the, the, the pros and cons that we've noticed because we've been looking at yeah. it for so long. And, and then we wandered, 
wander back by there a couple hours later. The coach is sold, and the couple that Terry was talking to is sitting in there. So and excited I, for them? I'm like, you know what? That salesman owes Terry commission. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. <laughs> he owes Miss Terry some commission on that sale. I hope those people see this video. That'd he was cool. not going to sell that coach. That, not, not with his... Well, uh, not with his vast array of knowledge, oh, for wow. sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that was heavy sarcasm. Just <laughs> one, of the main, one, one of the main reasons for going to the Dallas RV show um, was not to look at RVs, but to spend a bunch more money. Yeah, get a thousand trails membership. Yes, we bought new. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff out there about buying on the used market, the pros and cons of that. A lot of people singing the praises of buying resale. Um, nine times out of ten. The people singing the praises of buying resale are also sponsored by the companies doing the reselling. Um, so, well, plus it probably is better for some people, but it's like everything. It's what fits one person might yeah, not be the perfect yeah. fit for another person. I, I, I just, it's difficult for me to uh, take the sales tactics of people that are. And let, let me clarify by saying they don't say that while they're trying to sell you this resale. They don't say that they're that they're they're sponsored, basically, because they'll wrap it up in you know you let them know and and maybe we'll get fifty bucks you know or something like that, which basically yeah they they earn commission off of selling selling these resale so I chose to buy new um, for it's like getting a tattoo we already did it so don't <laughs> tell us how dumb we are <laughs> <laughs> for all the reasons that people say to buy new one of them is when we grow tired of it and don't want it anymore we can sell it and from what I've learned over the years, you can sell it for basically half its value, which is what you would have bought one on the resale market for was half value. So it's kind of six and one, half a dozen of the other. Or if we die, our kids can use it or they yeah. can sell it. And there's um, there are some perks that you get with buying new that don't exist on some of the older memberships so, and it all the whole process we bought it today I can use it tonight mm -hmm. I mean, we can go on up to Texoma and stay there tonight with this membership that we that we just bought today and I'm gonna say go to an RV show and get it you, you will get a discount we we did we did get a pretty good discount um, I am at some point when we start staying at Thousand Trails I am going to keep a running total like up in the top corner of the video to let you guys know this is what we spent on it and this is what we've used and how much more we've got to go before our return on investment you know, pays off. We are your guinea pigs. Um, I so, so I don't, your, your job, because we're being the guinea pigs, is to do the whole like subscribing thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's that. We got Thousand Trails. So, now we're heading back to camp. I've got a nap to take because this whole spending all this money on a motorhome thing has worn you out. Worn me out. And. Gotta check on the, the dogs and the cat. The cat came with us for the first time. And, and then get to start unpacking oh. so we can prepare for the packing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, so like unpacking our baggage or is that a whole different subject?
your cards with your queen of hearts when everyone folds your fortune to holds your place in your bed showing no regret close your eyes to hide your lies roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose bound to get knocked right out of your boots when i use my Talking rude You're playing a game Driving me insane Your heart is back And it's a fact No turning back You got me tiptoeing around you Like you made a glass Got an invincible fence Letting everyone know Not to trespass But you're bound to break down Bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft. thing about cameras you actually have to put them turn the on off switch to on oh thank you for that education <clears throat> you still have your headphones on i know they're not on i, I can hear you just fine just ignore it um, wait what you can hear them yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you're still smiling <laughs> <laughs> you should hear what they're saying <laughs> so oh uh, we got home from our our last weekend trip, camping trip, I mean, whatever, in the old Fleetwood. Um, now we're cleaning out. And we've decided, uh, we talked about it quite a bit, we decided we're going to empty out everything that we 100% know we're not going to need. Hiking sticks. Cold weather. Uh, stuff. Yeah coats winter coats even though it's still winter we are in the south or the midwest however you want to classify oklahoma i don't know if everybody does this but with our with our rv oh i got sawdust in my hair from all this with our rv we we equip it kind of like our house so if we have we don't have benadryl in the house and then we take it with us we have benadryl in the house and we have benadryl in yeah. the rv yeah. so we have everything we need already in here other than our clothes and yep. our, our food so, so we're, we're so we this are is like emptying a house. <laughs> yeah, we, we're emptying out everything that is absolutely not necessary for for this. Not because I mean, where we're buying it from, we are getting provided a spot to set up camp and transfer items from one RV to the other one. Um, so they and, tell us we haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah, we we've got and we've got plenty of time to do it. We would just uh, rather make that process as quick as we can and, and we're more likely to um notice any issues with the new one that we could they could fix real quick yeah if we're not um, carrying stuff out and then when we get home we can figure out where we're going to put everything because we're not we're not 100 percent sure 
that everything we have in this rig is going to fit in the new one. Yeah, the new one's a little bit bigger, but it's a little yeah, bit the less storage, storage in some places. And the storage is configured differently. Yeah, so, that's you know, more. It's going to take us a bit to get everything organized, but we are in the process of cleaning out. We are, uh, I finished the adventure side, nothing on the adventure side short of the um, Lego brick blocks that we need for leveling just in case. I'm going to go ahead and keep them, but everything else was pulled out, put into the garage. She's doing the inside and we're going to go to Lowe's and grab some cardboard boxes. We've got some collapsible containers that we can use for transferring from um, this, from the Fleetwood over to the new RV. <laughs> and then once we put the stuff up, we can just collapse them. And yeah. So that, that, this is our Sunday and Monday probably this because we got it. Is this fun? Yeah, it is kind of fun. We'll catch up later. Okay, we still got a mess. It has been, you know, it, it sounds kind of weird saying it's been kind of a whirlwind of activity because it's been several days since we decided to. Uh, get this new camper but it has been busy um but we're we what we did we took everything out of the coach that we figured we're not going to need for the next seven to ten days on the road um and then left behind the stuff that we obviously think we need and so that just to make the transition from this coach to the new coach a little bit quicker a little less stressful for us while we're out there um i think we've done a pretty fair job of it we shall see we'll find out in a few days i suppose um it's just been it's been a flurry of activity i mean we got stuff laying these screens we took these screens out that go on the uh, cockpit you know for the driver and the passenger the little slide open windows we took those screens out years ago i don't think we've ever actually used them and we stashed them and forgot where we stashed them and we finally found them last night you know we've heard a lot of things you hear when you buy motorhomes or buy campers some of it i have to wonder if it's just not old wives tale type stuff i mean just an example six years ago seven years ago whenever it was we bought this rig we were told read all of the documentation that comes with the rig all of it it's very important that you read all of the documentation that comes in that packet just about I'd probably say about 90% of the documentation that came in the bag the Fleetwood bag about 90% of it was warranty information for the washer dryer the TVs the it's stuff that I didn't need to read <laughs> But that's what everybody tells you to do. Make sure you read all of it so you understand your coach. Well, the warranty information didn't give me any understanding of the coach. Neither did the guy at Camping World giving us the PDI, but that's a different story. Um, but one of, the, one of the other things that we've heard several times is keep all of the original stuff that came with the coach. For example, the bedding, which was it felt like you were sleeping with a uh, newspaper that's what the bedding was like uh, never mind what the mattress was like so we saved the bedding we put the bed folded the bedding up and put it in one of those vacuum bags and stuffed it in the attic and we saved it so that for this day or friday um, when we trade this coach in it it has the bedding that it supposed to have that that it came original with is that something that really needs to happen i don't know um <laughs> would, would they turn us away if we didn't have the blankets for the coach i highly doubt it um does it add any value to the coach seriously 
a blanket adding value. I, so I really, I, I, I question that. But we did it. <laughs> um, so anyway, we are, today is departure day. Um, so I'm going to wrap this video up. You can thank me later for it. Um, we, we will hit the road and begin a new video about our journey out to Atlanta, Georgia. 886 miles, I believe it is. We're going to do probably a three-night run. Today's Tuesday. We plan on getting there Friday morning. And then Friday afternoon, moving into the new RV. It's, it's awesome. I mean, it, it's really pretty cool that we're actually getting it. It just seems like it happened so quick from the moment we decided, yeah, okay, whatever, let's give it a shot. And now all of a sudden, we got to get this stuff folded up and pointed down the road. We will catch you all down the trail.